Winged liner can be a massive pain to do. It is so hard to get it to look balanced and to execute it with the precision that it requires to look good. Well, I just discovered a great trick after playing with makeup the other day, and I cannot wait to share it with you. wondering, is it the tape trick as shown in the thumbnail? No, that is not it. Well, it is it, but come on, who hasn't tried that? If you've tried it, leave it in the comments section below. I feel like everyone has tried the tape trick before. There is more than just the tape trick in this video. Stay with me. Today I'm going to show you a beginner friendly winged liner that will work on everyone even if you're not a skilled makeup girl if you've always wanted this look but you don't have the precision to be able to execute it you will be able to execute this trust me let's go okay here is the problem with using tape sometimes when you put tape on your face it's actually a bit off balance but it's really hard to see that until you remove the tape if you've made this mistake you will know exactly what i mean one side ends up higher and one side ends up lower it just doesn't work. This is what you're going to do. Following the lower lash line, you are going to take a brush or a stick or whatever and create the angle that you want. And then you are going to mark it on your temples. I marked it with a black eyeshadow. It's really easy to remove that mark when the eyes are finished. Here's a super important tip. It feels unnatural to do this, but always do your eye makeup first. That way, if shadow drops or you mark something up, it doesn't matter because you can clean it up when your eyes are finished. Once you have that little black dot there, you can line up your tape on both sides. This ensures that the angle is exactly the same and that the liner will look even. Now, on this day, I wanted a little razzle dazzle highlight on my eyes, so I just added some glitter using my fingertip. This glitter is called the Master Crystal Reflector and it's by Makeup by Mario in the color Quartz. If you're not into this, feel free to skip this step. It's all good. Not everyone loves glitter as much as me. I really, really love glitter. I love all the glitter. After that, I used this tiny fluffy compact brush and dipped it into this taupey brown shade. I smudged it along the tape and connected it to the eye. I bought this brush at Michael's, which is an art store. It's actually a paintbrush, but it's so perfect for this. I've had it for so many years that I had to tape it so that it stays together. I just can't bring myself to throw it out. You know how it is though? Well, right? The perfect density, the perfect shape. You can't just throw that out. Another expert makeup tip is to search your local art store for brushes. You can find literally perfect makeup brushes there for significantly cheaper. All you have to do is look for brushes that have the density and the shape that you want and you're good to go. You will notice that paint brushes cost like five bucks, whereas makeup brushes cost like 40. And really it's the same thing. You just need the, the right type of hair, the right shape, the right density, and you can execute anything. So go to your art store, go look for paint brushes there, and then you can thank me later. After that, I dipped into my black shadow and I smudged it right on top of the brown to deepen it up a little bit. I felt like I needed more definition in the inner corners, but I didn't want to close my eyes up too much with anything smoky. Smoky tends to close things up. So what I did is I used this tiny eyeliner brush and a cream eyeliner to follow my lash line ever so carefully on the inside. This is a really easy way to elongate the eyes without darkening or closing up the lid. After that, I cleaned up any fallout with a Q-tip and some micellar water. On to the lashes. After curling, I applied lash primer to bulk my lashes up and then I used mascara. I added a half lash to the outer corners to bring the wing to life. When I cut my lashes in half, I like to use the inner part and not the outer part. I find that the outer part is just too long and because of that, it drags and weighs my eyes down. If you also have this issue, use the inner part of the lash that you cut. It is shorter, but it will still make a big difference to the overall look. Okay, now here's a trick I really, really wanted to show you guys. As a final step, I love to dip into a light matte shadow and follow the liner with this color. It really lifts up the corners of the eyes. It gives you like 
this amazing elongated eye and kind of facelift and it's done so easily and I've never heard another makeup artist talk about it online. I just did this one day to kind of clean up the line a bit and I couldn't believe how much more lifted that side of my face looked. So if you ever do a winged liner, regardless of what kind of wing you do, try out this trick. Matte shadow, light, a nice densely packed brush and you're golden. You'll end up getting this like incredible lift that will last the whole day. No one will be able to pinpoint why it looks so darn good and it's totally from that brightening shadow under the freaking line. I love this trick so much. After taking my rollers out and applying my lipstick, I am left with this. I love this look. It is so soft and beautiful. It's great with straight hair or with curly hair. I don't think it's too much for daytime, but it's also amazing for an event or a night out. If you try it, definitely let me know. Thank you guys for watching. If you're interested in another one of my signature looks that I wear very often as well, then I encourage you to watch this video next because this one, this one's over, baby.